this tutorial continues to build on the sort of the array um, information. Here we're going to um, load a bunch of random numbers into a, an array and create sort of a random shape. And so up here we declare, we type the array type, so it's a float. We give it a name and then we give it a size. So there's going to be eight positions in the array and those positions will be numbered 0 to 7. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is eight positions. We're using a stroke join bevel. No, we're going to get rid of the cursor. And then we're going to do a first loop where we're just going to load some values into the array so that it's not empty. Um, it's important to have values in an array when you when you build it, um, for because if uh, you ask if you're using those values to actually draw, and you haven't put values into the array yet, you'll get an error and it'll lock up the code. So it's always best practice to throw something inside of there. So we're just using um, a for loop and the initial value for int i is 0 and if i is less than the array name dot length which basically it's just checking what the length of the array is which we set up here so if it's less than 8 then i plus plus so so it'll drop into this first one so x position 0 equals a random number between negative 1 and 1. And then it'll keep looping through. So position 0, random number, position 1, random number, position 2, random number, position 3, random number. When it gets to 7, which is the last value you'd want here, it'll do the last load and then it will exit this loop. Because again, just to refresh, We've got zero, whoops. We've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if it's less than eight, it's seven, and that's the that's the eighth position in the array because the first position is zero. You can't change this. So now we go into the draw loop, and. We've got a background of zero, a stroke of yellow, no fill. We're mapping the stroke value, or the stroke weight, to the position of the mouse. So this is going to scale based on the position of the mouse in the, on the x-axis. And so you'll get between zero and 500, which is exactly the two values we expect between zero and the width, which is 500. And we're going to map it between 0 and 1. This will seem like a small number, but we're using a scale to actually dramatically increase the size of what we draw. So we've set the stroke weight to the stroke variable, push matrix, translate to the center, scale it 100, 100 times, and then we go to our for loop where we actually draw the shape. So we begin the shape here. And we drop in and we begin to generate vertices. So we do the exact same thing, except we're, we're checking to see if i equals 0 and i is less than x. The length, so the length is 8 minus 1. So if i is less than 7, um, then i equals i plus 2. The reason we're doing this is because essentially what we're doing is creating pairs so position 0 and 1 is x and y position 2 and 3 is x and y position 4 and 5 is x and y so it's 0 2 4 6 and then we're then we're done so 6 and 7 are the last pair so so we increment up so we draw the vertex so x x in the 0 position, and then x in i plus 1, so x in the 1 position, and then x in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's it. We exit, and then we end the shape, and we use the close parameter to close the shape. Then we draw a second shape where we're using a stroke of 255 
in a stroke weight of half of the stroke weight we're using in the uh, shape that we're drawing. And then we're drawing an ellipse and we're basically just pointing at two specific positions in the array. We're looking at the length minus two and then the length minus one. So it's if it's a eight position array, then we want length minus one is seven and length minus two is six. So eight minus one is seven, eight minus two is six. And again, that's because we want the last position in the array. The length may be eight, but the, the numerical indices for the position in the array is seven for the last position. That's the eighth position is called seven, okay? Um, and then finally, we have a mouse we have a mouse released which basically refreshes everything and we've scaled it up to two. So we've gone from one to two. So let me uh, run this. We'll see how it works. So you can see, it, whoops, you can see as I move the mouse, I'm moving the mouse along the x-axis. Okay. Okay. So, you know, you can set these numbers. You can set the array as big as you want. So I can say 20 if I want. Right? And I'll get a much more complex shape. I'm not working in a very, very big space, so it's kind of crowded. So I could change some values. Um, instead of instead of ones I'll do like negative 10 to 10 and instead of scaling it by 100 I'll scale it by 50 and so this should add some complexity Okay, so that's the array. So again, you can set the size to any size you want. You can draw values from any position in the array that you want. You can rewrite the values in the array whenever you want. Um, it's quite a powerful tool and well worth uh, figuring out.